Hi there, good afternoon and welcome to lesson five of Lockdown Maths. Now today we have changed um, a little bit. We're looking at bar models, which for some people, I don't think you'll have seen these before, uh, especially the adults. So these come from Singapore and they're proven to show a different representation of multiplication and they're a really good way of show a visual model of how multiplication works. So your questions are mild, should start hopefully with some bar models that have got one, two, three bars along and they show a multiplication. So this first one, which I've done especially for Leo in my class, who picked up the, the mistake in my, one of my last videos, so thank you, you're absolutely right with what you said. Four lots of four is 16 and not 12, like I said, so thanks for picking me up. Right, so we've got here, we've got the bar model that shows that one. So we've got four lots of four, one, two, three, four. Now I've already made another mistake in this one actually. So four times four equals 16. So we know that this is 16. And again, we can show that with the number line with one, two, three, four, zero, we're going four, 8, 12, and 16. Now, I've silly put up two lots of 8 there as well, which this bar model would show if these were, if that was 2s and that was 8s. So I would have to have 2, 2, and 8 lots of 2. So that's a slightly different one. So let's move on to this one here, where we've got 6s, and we've got 1, 2, 3, Four. So we've got four lots of six, which equals 24. So we know 24 is the missing number. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six lots of four, which equals 24. And if I continue the family of four theme that we've been doing all week, it shows me 24 divided by four equals six. 24 divided by 6 equals 4. Okay, so I've got four calculations for each one. So that's how we use bar models. Now, most of the children should be able to use bar models, and we've done this quite a lot. So I want to move on to spicy, which I've done a slightly different version of the one you've done. So hopefully, Leo, I've got this one right. Fingers crossed. Okay, and uh, it says, is eight times three, or eight lots of three, the same as? So is that the same as these other calculations? So hopefully you can see this one. It says, is eight times three the same as half of eight times six? So what we need to do is we need to work out what eight times three is, and what half of eight times six is. So eight times three, uh, if I do a number line, I've got eight jumps of three or three jumps of eight. So um, just because of the size of my board, I'm going to do three jumps of eight. So I've got one jump of eight, two jumps of eight, three jumps of eight, 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 zero. So I know my first jump must be eight. And then I can skip counting twos or skip counting fours to get the rest of the answers. So I've got one jump of eight, two jumps of eight, eight add eight is 16. And then add another eight equals 24. So I know 8 times 3 equals 24. So the question is asking me, is half of 8 times 6 the same as 8 times 3? So we know 8 times 3 is 24. Now, 8 times 6, if I'm looking at it, 6 and 3 have a relationship. Double 3 is 6. So I should just be able to double my answer to find out that. 8 times 6, I know that 8 times 6 equals 48. Half of 48, now if I want to find out half of 48, I can do it one of two ways. I can do 10, 20, 30, 40, and cut that in half. So half of 10 is 5, so half of 40 is 5, 10, 15, 20. Half of 8, I can do that one in my head. Half of 8 is 4. 20 add 4 equals 24. So I know straight away, is 8 times 4 the same as half of 8 times 6? Yes, because that equals 24. So that one I know is right. 
Now, the next one, is eight times four the same as eight times eight? Now, that's a nonsense question. That can't be the same because eight times eight is gonna be much, much bigger than eight times three or eight lots of three. Now, I know that eight times eight equals 64. So I know it eh, eh, is not the same, right? So that's false. Then down here, eight times three, is it the same as eight add 16? Okay, do a number line. The biggest number is 16 there. And then I add an eight to it. There's a four in the eight, so I add that to the 16, that equals 20. There's four left over, that equals 24. So I know eight add eight equals 16. So yes, that is the same, absolutely right. And then over here I've got, is eight times four the same as two times four times three? Now I know that, oh, let's just move that computer over a little bit more so you can see it. Two times four equals eight. So eight times three equals 24 because that is the same as that. So yes, that's the same. And if you want to be really fancy, you could write a couple of sentences to go with that. So I know that eight add 16 has got to be the same as eight times three because there are three eights there. One eight and there's two eights in there. I know that six and three have a relationship. So I know that's gonna be right. And then I know absolutely that that one's wrong because eight is bigger than three. Right, the end of the week. Um, after you finish today, have a lovely weekend and I will see you again next week for some more recorded lessons. I do hope they are proving useful and that people are watching them and um, do let me know. All right. Thank you. Bye bye.